we've been making autonomous vehicles like these for a dozen years. We take an ordinary industrial truck and we outfit it with our hardware and our proprietary software that allows the robots to see the world around them. We run in very complex, dangerous environments, moving very heavy loads, and we've done it nearly 500,000 miles in actual customer production environments with no accidents. I firmly believe that computers and sensors are safer drivers than humans, both on the factory floor and on public roads. Our technology platform is very applicable to the current frenzy, I, I think of it as, in the various levels of autonomy in our passenger car market. Many of our clients in industrial automation are in automotive manufacturing, so there is a natural fit for us to be talking with our customers that could also be future partners. The way that our vehicles navigate autonomously is entirely with cameras, which is fundamentally different than how other people do this. We have stereo cameras, which means that there are two, both taking the same picture, looking at the same scene. So it's just like the two eyes that are in human beings. So when you match those two things together, you get a depth of field. There's lots of different sensor technologies that are out there. Google, Uber, they're both using LiDAR sensors, a rotating light sensor on top of their car, which is one, a very expensive sensor to put on a vehicle. And two, the data density that you get is much, much lower than what you can get out of a camera. Tesla has eight monocular cameras going around the perimeter of the vehicle, and it is combining that with radar to get 3D ranging. So that is taking a stance on using cameras as a primary sensor in the vehicle, which we applaud. Now, I would take it one step further and say you should have eight stereo cameras going all the way around the car, so then you can get both the image data and the ranging data from a single sensor. Our advantage is the combination of stereo ranging with evidence grids, the software, basically. Uh, you don't see that in the marketplace right now. We're very unique in that regard, and I think that is our edge in, in our current market. That will probably be the case in autonomous passenger vehicles as well. I think a Google or an Apple or an Uber or 10 other companies like that would make a fantastic partner. What we have is a sensor kit. We have a very unique set of intellectual property and know-how, more importantly, to deliver on actual vision-guided navigation. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.